Hi guys, it's Fina and I'm back with another top 10 video. So in this video I'm going to talk about my top 10 romantic films. E films, And I love films that are very romantic. Romantic because I don't know, I like them if they're romantic comedies or very fun romantic films. Like Romeo and Juliet. I love anything that involves romance because I love seeing how two people fall in love. Love it's really fun. And it's also here fun to hear stories of how people who who are married met. It's really it's just I just find it interesting to hear how they met. Met and stuff. Huh? And it's really it just makes me happy be to hear the story of that. Okay, so these are just some romantic films that I personally love and are find very interesting. Interesting because they're just really good and they make me smile a lot. Okay, so number one on my list would have to be The Notebook. And I do have a review up for The Notebook and I will link that down below if you guys are interested. Now The Notebook is one of my mine and my mom's favorite films because it involves two people who are in love but they can't be together because one person is poor and one person is rich and they'll do anything that, to be together. Together and even after years if they find somebody new they're still in love with they realize that they're still in love with each other. They're each other and they'll try whatever they can to be together. I love those those movies of two people that are in love and will get, sacrifice anything to be together. It's just really romantic to me. Number two on my list would have to be Endless Love. Now Endless Love is another one I really love because it shows two people that fall in love and and they love and they hang out not all the time and they they really love spending time with each other but What's um, sad is they can't be together because of their, well, because of the family, well, because one of the parents doesn't want want them to be together. Together, even if they are in love. Love, but they'll just do anything together. It reminds me so much of Romeo and Juliet, because you guys, I bet a lot of you know Romeo and Juliet. How Romeo and Juliet can't that are in love with each other, but they can't be together because their families are like sworn enemies. But they'll try to do anything to be together, and that's what I really love about Endless Love is the two main characters would try to do anything to be together. Number three on my list would have to be Beauty and the Beast, and I do have a review up for Beauty and the Beast, and I will link that down below. So Beauty and the Beast is number three on my list, and also is one of my all-time favorite fairy tales, by the way. But, though, anyway, sorry, Beauty and the Beast is my is number three on my list is because it involves a beautiful girl and a hideous beast and they don't like each other at first but they take time to fall in love love they start to take their time to fall in love and I really love those cut and by the way for those who don't know I really like those couples that take their times to fall take their time to fall in love because it's really interesting seeing to see how they get to know each other other. Like for instance, Belle and the Beast at first don't like each other because the Beast scares her and the Beast is frustrated with her. But later on when they start to hang out and how they get to know each other more, they start to fall in love. I just really am interested in more interested in those couples that take their time to fall in love. I'm not really a bit much of a big fan of the Disney movies with the princesses and the princess that fall in love right away. I'm just way because they barely have time to know each other. Other, I'm just more interested in the peop the characters that meet each other and take their time to fall in love. Number four on my list would have to be No Strings Attached, and No Strings Attached is another one I really like. I like because you see two people meeting several times but never really get together, and then later on when they the more they start to get together they start to fall in love with each other each other and then it doesn't work then it doesn't work out and then they get back together and then they break up again and then they get back together again I like those kind of relation I like seeing those couples in those kind of movies because I mean let me start I really like to see those kind of couples in those movies because it's, you have, you, it makes you think, are they going to fall in love again? Or are they going to find somebody new? 
new or are they going to spend the rest of your lives alone? So it keeps you wondering every time if they're going to get back together or if they're going to stay with another person. Harrison, I really love those couples too. Number five on my list would have to be 50 first dates. The reason 50 first dates is number five on my list is because it, sh it shows a boy and a girl meeting and then the next day the girl doesn't remember him him and he starts to get her to fall fall in love with him him and he helps her to try to remember who he is he is because she has this brain issue where she wakes up where she meets somebody and then wakes up the next day and can't remember him and so she tries everything she can to help help reach to help him remember her i mean help her remember him i'm sorry Number six on my list would have to be how to lose a guy in ten days. So the reason how to lose a guy in ten days is number six on my list is because it involves Matthew McConaughey and Kate Hudson. Hudson and um, they get together because one is writing an article and another person is using that person for, and he's using the girl for a bet. <clears throat> bet and they start hang out. And they hang out all the time. Time they go out to dates, spend a lot of time together, and then they meet they meet his family. And then once she gets to know know the know him, she starts to fall in love with him, and then he starts to fall in love with her as well. Well, and that's what I really like. I really like um, how two people get together because of like a certain thing, like a bet or bet or a game and they try to get rid of each other each other by trying to do stuff that disgusts each other but then later on they when they start to get to know each hang when they start to see what try everything they can to get rid of each other they realize it doesn't work out and they start to fall in love and i really like that number seven on my list would have to be roman holiday because because it involves a forbidden love and i love forbidden loves love stories like um we have a princess and a person who's not a wealthy princess and a man who's not rich and they are in deeply fall deeply in love with each other when they meet meet and hang out and stuff but they realize they can't be together because one is wealthy and one is poor even though it is really sad that they can't be together i find it really romantic how they love each other either rich or poor and I love those kind of kind of couples. Number and it is an Audrey Hepburn film. Film and Audrey Hepburn and almost every Audrey Hepburn film that I've seen, she meets a guy and falls in love with. I love those. I love that's what I love about her movies is every single movie she's in, she meets a guy and falls in love with him. It's really really interesting to me. I mean, that's just an interesting fun fact is that every Audrey Hepburn movie I've seen, she meets a guy. She, her character meets this guy, and her character ends up falling in love with him, and he ends up falling in love with her, and she is a super pretty actress, by the way. Number eight on my list would have to be The Wedding Singer. Now, The Wedding Singer is another Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler film that I've seen. It involves them... Um, it involves them um, be becoming friends at first, and then their friends friendship later turns into a romantic relationship. And then their friendship later turns into them falling in love with each other. Each other in their jobs. Jobs. And I really, and again, I love those people that take their time to fall in love. Number nine on my list would have to be Sleeping Beauty, even though it's um, a Disney movie. Not movie, and they fall in love right away. Sleep, wait, this is all I could think of, by the way. So, Sleeping Beauty, I love Sleeping Beauty because she's like such a daydreamer and she's always dreaming about a handsome prince, even though it's not really good for girls to do that, dream about a handsome prince and sweep them off their feet. I never really actually dreamed about that, truth be told. So, because in ball, I love hearing like girls' dream, certain girls' dreams, it's really interesting to see what happens to them and their dream them and what they dream about and the guy that they dream about it's just really sweet and interesting 
everything, even though they do fall in love right away, which kind of annoys me. Annoys me, but I love how they they come together because of a song. It's really sweet. Number 10 on my list would have to be Paris When It Sizzles because it involves two people writing a story together and during their story writing they fall in love. It's just a rub. I love seeing that too. And it's another Audrey Hepburn movie and Audrey Hepburn is one of my favorite actresses of all time. Okay, so those were my top 10 romantic films. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any requests of movie reviews for any of the movies I mentioned at all, please let me know down below. I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!